Hello, everybody. My name is Beckett, and it's all the mod six. And I don't know if we're about to start season four, or if we're, or if season three was just a bad dream, and we're about to go back to season two. As you can see, we're in 1.16.3, and my understanding is that a 1.16.2 world will load, but a 1.16.1 world will not. If we go with the 1.16.2 world, we're going to be missing some resources, I believe. So, I don't know. Um, note, if you can't vote... Oh. You know, I, I like the Black Lives Matter message that Quark put in. Um, I, I hope that that does not mean that every mod in a mod pack is going to start with a screen of text. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this world was that played in version 1.16. Yes, 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 yes. I know what I'm doing. Ratlantis. Oh, I think it went away. Yeah. Made the achievement Ratlantis, and I made the achievement Rat. Right. Let's see. Darkness. We have a kitchen. A little bit of food, green apple. I didn't see anything missing. Um, still got Ars Nouveau. Industrial 4 going is now a uh, first before the, uh, the Minecraft box. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Um, Sleep through the night here. I must have been decorating. Oh, that's right. I have a dank. Dank from dank storage. All right, folks. Season three. It was all a dream. <clears throat> it was all a dream, folks. Oh, we are back on the beach. Let's see what we had going. I don't remember. A little basement. Oh, yes. We still got... I did try to load this in 1.16.1 when I updated that uh, earlier. And we had the uh, the Brief Fever Dream. It was Season 3. And I came down here and, and none of these ores were there. Um, I don't know. Um, let's, let's find now. I could use some food. Let's see. Let's see what's on the menu. Let's see what's on the menu. Cooking table. There we go. Not eaten yet. Well, well, well. We know what that means, right, folks? Oh, and we can even mouse over for hunger and saturation. I like that. Okay, we're going to start sorted vegetables. We're going to start with some lag. So, there we go. So, see those sparkles? That means I ate a new food. So, what we have here is the spice of life. Carrot edition. So we need a book and a carrot to make the one actual item that the mod comes with. I believe I have a carrot somewhere. Yes. Carrot in the kitchen counter, and we might have a book upstairs. We do not. Alright, so we'll make us a book. We'll craft it with a carrot. Boom, Slice of Life Carrot Edition. See what it's all about. 
Okay, so indeed, there, there are 366 foods in the pack. Um, I can gain up to 10 hearts, and when I've eaten 5 new foods, I will get my first new heart. I don't know if this is the type of, uh, of spice of life. Okay, so every food I eat will always... No, that's not what it means. Um, what does it mean? All right, looks like I'm going to have to eat a lot of raw fish. Um, all these different Adelwood buckets of soup. All right. So we don't have much in terms of processing down here yet. I don't, we didn't have many uh, tech mods available. We had engineers to core. We never really figured out how to, uh, how to do a lot of things. Um, so let's see. I believe we now have silence. Yeah. Just like we did in uh, Season 3, which was, oh, well, we have silence weapons, but we don't seem to have silence mechanisms. All right. I'm going to take a quick flip through the mods we have here, and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, so this is interesting. We're, uh, we're still in that, uh, oh, the biomes you'll go world. But biomes of plenty is in the pack. And I believe that, uh, if farming for blockheads is in a pack, we'll have access to, uh, to all of the saplings. Which is very cool. So we do have mechanism. And if memory serves, all yours had, uh, had an osmium. I got no tooltip here. Uh, it's aluminum. What's this? Tin, platinum, zinc, silver, osmium. So we could go with mechanism. I'll tell you, a lot of uh, JI here could, uh, when the user set up, this could use a little organization. It's all, like, they're in order by mods. The rest of it's all equally daily. Uh-oh, folks. Uh-oh. It looks like Pam's Harvest Trap has seeds. Okay. So we can find the stuff, but we're, we're probably going to have to start collecting emeralds and getting this stuff from the market. I don't know how far out this stuff is going to be. We loaded this world without the Pam seeds, so, uh, oh. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. I got a little confused there. Pardon me. Um... Looks like mechanism is our option for early ore processing, or even, it looks like that's just the option. Um, so much akin to all the mods 5, we're going to be doing some power gen with the power mod. And to get into that, we're going to need a little lava. And to get some lava, we're going to need some tanks. Um, we could use a dimensional tank and dimensional storage, but we need uh, we need like all this stuff, um, which actually looks like it might be quite within our reach. Um, now that I uh, oh, we only have three dimes. What I want is uh, I guess maybe we look for it under. Fluid tank? That's a creative one. Ah, here we go. Basic fluid tank. Some iron and some redstone. That'll give us 14 buckets. So let's go ahead and make that. Now we can upgrade this to, uh, to an advanced fluid tank. For that, we need infused alloy, a metallurgic infuser, and for that we would need a, a way to power it. So, we are going to go get some lava. There we go. I could hear it for the longest time. Alright, now watch, I forgot a bucket, right? I forgot a bucket. So the tank isn't hard to use, you don't need any special tool except uh, something to pick the liquid up with. In this case, 
the humble bucket. And you just right click into the tank. It holds 14 buckets, the basic version here. Galoot. Right, right. Once the tank is full, you just break it, pick it up, take it with you. Like we didn't, uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the version that crashed, that we weren't. We had done some stuff with, but then it got corrupted and we lost a little progress. That's not so bad. So I need to go out and look for some clay. And while I'm doing that, I think I'd like to try to passively collect some resources with the Water Strainer mod, which I know nothing about, but we're going to see if we can figure it out. Um, we got a couple different uh, strainers, each of which uh, requires a mesh. We have this worm bin, which produces fertilizer. It's one of several worm bins in the pack, apparently. <laughs> And we got these strainer bases, which requires a strainer and water on top. Now, I think the water has to be running, but I'm not sure. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to make one of these worm bins, which is just three composters, all stacked up on top of each other. And now we're going to go sleep through the night. Enderman. <coughs> No pearl. No experience either. There must be a couple underground over here. Anyway. So, the, uh, the worm bin... I'm making a mess over here. The worm bin said it requires fruits and vegetables to work. So we're going to go ahead and grab just a little bit here. You do you just right click? Oh, okay, so that moves right along. Now we can't use wheat. So we got some fertilizer, we got some worms that can be used as bait. What else do we have here? We'll put in put in all of this. I wonder if it'll take the green apples. I bet it won't. Nope. Probably just gonna take Vanilla items. Okay, so that's how the worm bin works. Um, okay, yeah, potatoes, dry kelp, beetroot, melon is pretty good. I see there's there's percentages for what we get. Melon looks oh carrots are really good, uh, seventy five percent. Apples are a hundred percent. Chorus fruits a hundred percent. So it looks like apples are the best, but carrots are gonna be the easiest. For us. I see we did get the grass block from the, uh, the Enderman. Where's my, uh, there we go. Oh, we already had a grass block. Probably from another Enderman. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. So what we're going to do, now we can't make one of these string meshes because we don't, we don't have any string, although we could make the crusher. But, you know, I want to do this while we're out getting clay to uh, power the crusher. So, we're going to go with, uh, with iron mesh. Whoops, that's, uh, that's not iron. So what that's going to involve, we're going to make two of them. Because we're going to need to do a little experimenting here to figure out how this mod actually works. I want to say I saw it used once. Um... So we take this iron mesh, and we can make all these different uh, strainers. And by all these different strainers, I mean these two strainers. <laughs> so we can make a solid fisherman strainer with some bamboo. We have bamboo. That catches fish, junk, treasures, needs bait. That will collect general items, but it doesn't seem to need bait. So there's a chance of sand, dirt, sticks, clay balls, which uh, and occasionally chances of nuggets. So let's make one of each. 
is not going to be the most scientific thing ever. Alright, I think I have some bamboo upstairs, right? Each of these is going to require a base. So we got to make two bases. It's not that bad. Two chests, two hoppers, a little bit of wood and some iron bars. So let's see. Okay. Who's this guy on fire? Probably one of those bosses. I'm probably about to die, aren't I? Sure is burning. A magic axe. Oh, it's gonna sink. Maybe uh, luring these things into the water is a way to tease it. Yeah! <laughs> Titan Forged! Edsel's Berserker's Culling Steel Tomahawk The God Slayer. Unbreaking 4, Miner Server 1, Physical Damage Pierces Armor, your attacks execute, your attacks have a 99% chance to cleave. Wow! Unbreakable. That, uh... That's our new weapon, folks. So what's unbreakable mean? It doesn't take durability? That's what it means. That's what it means, folks. We now have a sweet axe. It's right under me. I thought I lit it up down there. We got a sweet axe forevermore. I see this as a version of the world before I explored that little cave and got up the skeleton spawner. So I don't really know what I'm doing with this, uh, this water strainer mod, but we're going to see what we can figure out. It's either going to need still water on top of it, or running water on top of it. I'm not sure which. So we'll just put the strainer bases down. Okay, so they have uh, they have a GUI. Now what we're going to do, we're going to try to put the water right here. Um, so it's still here and it's running here. In this one, we're going to put in the survivalist strainer that has a little bit of durability. Uh, 720, it needs no bait. This one, we're going to put in the fisherman's strainer. This does use bait. Um, so we're going to put in... Worms. I guess worms it is. Can be used as bait source. Garden trawl or worm bin. Okay, so we've got our strainers. Now, let's go get some water. Okay, so I can definitely put a water source block there. And I can have the water running through this one. So this should tell us... Okay, so so yeah, so this where the source is, we've already gotten a piece of sand. Now we haven't gotten anything here yet. I guess there's a progress bar? Okay, we got some salmon. Nice! Water strainer. Fishy! 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 Atlantic Heron. Quite a watercolor for this biome. Sure is nice to have aquaculture back. Power time! Okay, so the, uh, the basic thing that we have to craft is this dielectric paste. Not too bad, uh, we use blaze powder, we can add in to get a little bit, but uh, we could also use three coal or charcoal, two clay balls, and a lava bucket to get 24 of the things. So we're gonna need more than 24. So, we'll go ahead and just for now craft another 24. That'll get us up to 48. 
that'll be something that uh, we should be able to work with. Now, what we want is, oh boy, this is all higgly piggly too. Um, I don't want reactors. We want we want to start with an energy cell. Um, the hardened one. Okay, we need a. Okay, so energy cell. Oh, okay, yeah, here's the basic right here. So what we need for this is a dielectric casing. We need dielectric rods, which are, you know, the case, some iron bars, just like so. You can make the ones that go uh, the horizontal just by putting the vertical in a crafting grid, just like that. So there's our, uh, and I don't need ender cells. I need reactor. Oh, no, not reactors. Uh, cell, cell, okay. Energy cell. Blazing, hardened, starter, spirited, basic. We'll start with basic. So our dielectric casing, we're going to need four iron. Four iron. <laughs> and, um, where do we go here? Basic, basic. Here we go. Just like that in a crafting grid. That'll give us our dielectric casing. We need four of these basic capacitors. So we'll need another four iron and a block of redstone. Very good. And then finally, we just need four more iron. Now we have some place to store the power that we're going to generate. What kind of generators? Or dynamos, or who knows what they're called. Let's try generator first. Um, oh, let's try furnator. Yes, we want a starter furnator. So this is going to be another dielectric casing, a couple of basic capacitors, some paste, and a furnace. There's uh, eight of that. We're going to need... Uh, what else are we going to need here? Going to need... Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Basic. And we're going to need a starter, aren't we? Uh, dialectic casing. So... Mm -hmm. Right? Darn it. <laughs> there we go. A dielectric casing. We're going to need uh, some of this, which is what we need. Uh, four more iron, another block of redstone. Easy peasy. And we get two of those just by putting a basic in a crafting grid. And then finally, we'll make our furnace, and we will make our starter furnator. Now, to upgrade this to the basic, it doesn't take much. We just need some more of these, uh, these dielectric rods. Another four iron. To make the, uh... The these um, basic capacitors. We already have that, and we'll need just another five iron. This is all gonna be worth it, right? Right. So now what we can do is we can come right over here. We can plop our furnator down. That's what's going to generate power plop our energy cell down, that's what's going to store power for us. We're going to take just eight coal and throw it in here to demonstrate. I believe this will take any burnable fuel. Um, so as you can see, our energy cell is now charging up. We've got a nice little interface over here. Um, so we can we're just we're just gonna set them to anything right now. Now this will hold a million. 
So it looks like we could probably have more than a... Just that amount. So the next thing we're going to want to get into is ore doubling. So we have the crusher from Mechanism, which would require steel. To get steel um, from Mechanism, we would need a steel dust, for which we need a metallurgic infuser, iron dust, coal dust. So crusher. Hmm. Let's see if we can make some more sense out of mechanism. Now, to get steel, that looks a little complicated. But what we could do, what we could do, let's see. Fusing factories, sawing factories, bins. Oh. We need some kind of a way to produce that iron dust, right? Because that's what's going to... That's what we need. Iron dust. Dirty iron dust from mechanism. We need this crusher. That'll give us a clump for which we need a purification chamber. But we could get clumps just from... Uh... Oh, we need to produce oxygen somehow. So, let's see. What would give us an iron ingot? Energized smelter. Iron dust from all the ores, we use these ore crushing hammers. Or the crushers from mechanism. Okay, so it looks like steel is what we're going to need. There's a couple ways we could go about it. I think it's possible we're going to do it with immersive engineering. So to get steel in immersive engineering, what we would need is a blast furnace, and they're not too expensive in this. We just need magma, regular bricks, and nether bricks. We need 27 of them, so uh, that's, that's not outside the, the realm of possibility. But to fuel it, we're going to need coal coke, and we're going to need coke bricks, just like we've done previously. 20, uh, we'll need 27 of the bricks, so it will, we will need to craft this nine times. So... 9 times 4 bricks is 36. We'll need 30, 36 bricks. Meanwhile, our water strainers have been doing a heck of a job here. Um, we've still got 688 uses on their survivalist strainer, and we're getting gravel, we're getting sand, we're getting clay. Um, over here, we've got 703 uses, and we're getting fish and bones, and, like, this is... What do we got? We're using a fisherman's strainer, right? Yeah. While that's cooking up, I thought it might be fun to uh, clear out this cave once again. Um, I'm just going to light it up here. Grass block deposited by Enderman. Aha! A little bit of essence. Oh, look at that smite! You see that? Yeah, pretty good. I'll light it up out here. They could spawn. Alright, now we're in good shape, I think. Is this bigger than I remember? We're all the way under our... This isn't small. Oh, yes, it is. It's small. Okay. Alright, let's see what's in the chest this time. <clears throat> Alright. A little redstone, a little iron gunpowder. Bane of Arthropods 5. Respiration 1, okay, that's very cool. Um, buckets and bones. And, ooh, string. Oh, string, y'all, finally, string. I have been dying for string. A little more flesh. 
Rib Bones from Reliquary, Pumpkin Seed. Music this. Mana in a Bottle. A little more iron, some horse armor. A Drenched Iron Ingot from Elemental Craft. Red. Elementopedia. What is an Elementopedia? Me an inert crystal, which we could get from inert crystal ore. <laughs> okay. Or pure. We get inert crystal ore. I guess we'll have to mine it. Ooh, iron. Now that our bricks are cooked up, the other thing we need is an engineer's hammer. Like so. Alright. So let's go ahead and make our coke bricks. This should give us, it's just an clay brick sandstone. 27. Perfect. And I have made the advancement Hama. Palindrome. That's the explanation point. Now all we do is we take a good solid look out here and we think about how we're going to be building our base. Um, what's the first thing we got to do? I want to say that I'm going to put a put the Sweet Wizard Tower over here. Um... So we could have the uh, the smithy stuff over here. We'll just put it down for now and build around it, I guess. Move it when we need to. You put the uh, the blocks down or the coke brick in a three by three by three, just like we're doing. Then you take the hammer and you right click the center block. Boom, coke oven. So what we do with this is we put uh, coal in it. So we'll just put the coal in. Now you can also put uh, put wood in and get charcoal out of it, and that's fine. Um, but for uh, for every burn, we get uh, we get two products. We get we get one coal coke, and we get a uh, a little bit of creosote oil, which we'll be using for other things a little later on. Um, well, this will the tank will fill up with creosote oil before this will fill up before it'll use all the coal, turn into coal coat. So we'll have to check on this every so often. But uh, while we're... Uh, I'm going to take one more look at our water strainers over here. I'm pretty happy with these. I might make, uh, I'll make a few more. Um, yeah, okay, there's a gold nugget. There's a little bit more clay, dirt, sand. And we're getting string from this one, which is very nice because we happen to need a piece of string. For something. Our dank is all well and good for uh, for storing large items in just a few blocks, but what if we want to store a, a lot of things that we only have a little bit of while we're hiking around? Well, that's where useful backpack comes in. We're going to start with the small backpack here, which is uh, four wool, four leather, and string. I'm going to take it out. Um, now this will give us uh, one, two. This will give us 15 additional inventory slots. Which is very nice. Um, but we can take this and carve, craft it with another four leather and another four wool to get a medium backpack. And that gives us quite a bit. That gives us nine by six. So that gives us double of our, uh, you know, our normal non-hot bar inventory space. But there's yet another tier. Um, there is the large backpack, which is just another four leather and another four wool. And this is a lot of storage. Um, this, is, this is what we want. Now we can put this in the uh, back slot of our baubles inventory, so it doesn't have to take up an inventory space. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the controls for backpacks here. Um, I guess they'd be under U. Uh, we went all the way to Lemon OP. Q-R-S-T-U. Okay, so we press V, and that gives us the inventory of our large backpack. It doesn't clutter our inventory. We can even put our dank in here. We can certainly take food with us. That's going to be very nice. Um, speaking of food, can't eat it yet. But I'll bet if we jump a little bit, we can, uh, because we're already starting to, uh, 
run our saturation down though, let's just go down and run around a little bit. Um, or we could just go, uh, go or excavate a tree here. Very nice. Oh, good thing I got more saplings. So, there we go. Gained two hearts. Okay, so we'll actually be able to get up to 30 hearts in there. Um, that was five. So let's take a look at our book and see how many unique foods we need to get up to 14 hearts. Okay, so this time, 10, we got, we got to get up to 10 foods, so only, only 5 foods, huh? Okay, okay, so just another 5 foods, and we'll get another 2 hearts. So that's how uh, the Spice of Life Carrot Edition works. Uh, pretty cool, and that's going to be it for today. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, had a pretty good time checking out that water strainer mod and the other stuff we did, and we will see you in the next episode of Season 2 of All the Mod 6. Season 3 was just a bad dream, folks. It was just a bad dream.